I bet he would have cut it off with a saber. Hmm. I wouldn't let him. You've always been like that. I'm glad he died. Oh, sorry. Don't look at me like that. I brought you something nice today to celebrate your promotion. Got it? Only use it as a weapon, okay? <laughs> Don't get attached. Hmm? Open it. Hey, get up. I found her in the Northeastern War Zone. Her name is... Violet Evergarden. She's going to work as an apprentice auto memory doll, starting today. Please teach her whatever you can about the job. Okay. She didn't have any facial expressions. Just like a doll. Just like a mechanical puppet. For which this profession... Um, first off... Hmm. How much do you know about what auto memory dolls do? I know that they write letters. At the request of other people. Lieutenant Hodgins. I mean, the president told me so. Yes, that's right. I can't say that I completely understand, but I think I can perform my duties. <sighs> it's not that easy. Duties? What are you even talking about? Iris, that's enough. Get back to work. Fine. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't introduced the other dolls to you yet. You see, doll refers It's an to... abbreviation for auto memories doll. I figured it out the other day. Right again. The girl just now, her name is Iris. She's a new hire who just completed her training course. And that's Erica. She and I have both been working as dolls for a while. You'll meet the others soon. This company is still pretty young, so we're all kind of like rookies here. That's not exactly true. Violet, do you know how to use a typewriter by any chance? I've never used one before. Then why don't you start off by practicing typing? How can she become a doll like this? Iris, can we borrow your manual? Yeah. So, uh... Sit down. Understood, ma'am. Oh. Oh, it's better to take out your gloves. Okay. like this. Turn the knob and feed it in. Place your pointer fingers on these keys here and try typing something. Okay. That's right! Just like that. Now just remember where your fingers should go for the different letters. Let's try typing what it says in this manual. Oh. So that'll be ten course. Thank you. Come back again. Finally time for lunch. Marine, Lillian. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have lunch together? Here you go. I bought yakisoba for you. Hmm. I don't want it. Hmm. And don't come to the reception looking so sweaty like that. <laughs> What's up with them? I mean, when you see a man who's been working hard like that, the least you could do is say thanks. What do they mean, sweaty? Women these days are so calculating, and their perfume stinks. I bet they're just trying to snag a rich guy at the reception. Now don't worry about that. Who cares? No more working girls for me. Hey, you! Yakisoba? I don't want to. And quit calling me hey you, would you? 
that yakisoba, I could eat it. <sighs> I'm just writing addresses all day today. The two reservations we have for this afternoon both asked for Catalaya. <clears throat> Are you okay? I'm fine. I came all the way to Leiden to become a doll. Every single day, all I do is write a bunch of addresses and send inquiries about missing people from the war. That's pretty much it. I know. By the way, I heard that new girl used to be in the army. Even though she's a child? Oh, and she... They don't have to make her a doll. And you know, she's pretty cold and inconsiderate, too. She doesn't fit this job. Ugh! I want to write letters that are more exciting! Like a letter for a famous person, or a secret love letter for an actress. But those jobs always go to Catalea! It's not fair! How is Violet? I invited her to lunch before, but she said she didn't want to eat, so she's been practicing her typing the whole time. I see. Sorry to give you trouble. <laughs> so, then treat me to dinner, Claudia. Don't call me by my name! Why? Because you wanted a different girl? I can't believe you called out another girl's name in bed. That was terrible. <laughs> Stop, please! Ugh, I'm sorry. I can't take you right now. I'm not getting any salary this month. <laughs> I'm done writing the addresses. Okay, thank you. I'll bring these to the delivery department. Great, thanks. Violet, thanks for your hard work. That's enough for today. Let me see. Oh, you've really improved a lot. Amazing. This weapon is what's amazing. Weapon? I suppose. It's a weapon for working girls like us to go out into society and fight. Tomorrow I'll have you sit by a real doll and watch how she does her work, okay? Anyway, I'm going out for a delivery service now. If someone makes a request, we go to their house or workplace to write for them. Is it okay if I take this with me? Take it? Where? To my room. For training. And for... Address? Gilbert's? Yes. I want to tell him that I've started a writing job and begun training. I want to report my current status. I'm sure the Major is still busy. And is unable to see me yet. Isn't that right? Yeah. I understand. I'll send this for you. So, uh, how has the training been going? It's going well. There's no problem. Like you already know, it's hard making ends meet every day. As you know, living expenses are tight. You made an error in that sentence. <laughs> Tell him. I'll pay back two kroll every month. Every month? If I pay back two kroll every month, it will take you 120 years to pay it off. Do you think you will be able to survive until then, sir? <laughs> Normally, she's a very good student. It's just, sometimes she gets really mad. I'm very sorry for hurting your precious child. Please forgive me. Maybe I should discipline her well enough. Our teachings were clearly Why insufficient. I... <laughs> Why did I do wrong? Well, you are... Crying gets in the way of our work. Please stop crying immediately. <laughs> hey! What do you mean by this letter? I'm sorry for my selfish request. What do you mean, selfish? I'm sorry. I apologize for the delay? This makes it sound like I'm the one who did something wrong! Who do you think you are? Her name is Erica. Huh? I didn't ask for her name. Anyways, I don't like this letter. I'm not paying for this. <laughs> Refusing to pay because he didn't like it is illegal. What is it you don't like about it? Out of my way. Please be specific. Give us some guidance. And please be quick about it. We've received several complaints from a few customers. Was there a problem? No. Well, are you okay? Yes, there is nothing wrong with my health. No, actually, I mean about working as a doll. I'm training diligently. I see. Um... We don't have any more reservations today. 
We're going to work together to make the membership list for the Chamber of Commerce after this. Uh. Type the company and the address, and the type of industry. Yes, ma'am. Hey, tell me, why do you want to do this job? I... Oh! <laughs> Is everyone gone? Welcome, ma'am. Do you want to request a letter? Huh. Why else would I be here? Yes, of course, you're right. No matter what the request is, we are able to write any type of document for you. Auto Memories doll, Erica. Where is the doll named Catalea Baudelaire? She's away on a business trip, ma'am. Oh, I came here because I heard you can never go wrong with her. Oh, well. You see, the thing is that someone has asked me out. A man who started an automobile company. He said every household is going to own a car in the future. Oh, but you know... I'm not such a simple woman. I don't want him to think I'm easy. I see. So then... Well, he's not that great a catch. I don't have any real feelings for him. But if he showed me he's serious, and if he really loves me... Huh? I want you to write an elegant and romantic letter. Go ahead. Are you the one who's going to write it? Yes, I am, ma'am. Huh? <sighs> What's the meaning of this letter? Ma'am, please, calm down, it's all right. Iris, bring some tea. Y yes. I wrote it just as you requested. What are you talking about? He got angry and sent the letter back to me! Read it! Read what you wrote! I read your letter. However, I do not have feelings for you now. <laughs> Furthermore, your commitment to love is insufficient to me. You should know, I am a complicated and serious woman, so please consider this. However, I fully encourage you to try again once you have procured proper gifts as well as funds. Is there some kind of problem with this letter? I apologize, ma'am. The expressions used were a bit too direct, I'm afraid. I just wanted to date him. But if I accepted his request too soon, he would think that I'm too easy to get. Women want men to chase them. I mean, they do, right? I loved him. I really did. <laughs> what would you like? Plain hot water is enough for rehydrating. <laughs> Two cups of flour tea. Right away, ma'am. It might have been too soon to give you such a hard job. I don't understand. Huh? I wrote the letter incorporating her requests as much as I could. <laughs> words can be interpreted different ways. The words themselves don't tell the whole story. It's a weakness of humans. They constantly test others in order to confirm their own existence. It's a contradiction. I'm going to go alone to visit him. I need to apologize. You alone? You look down. Are you eating enough? I've replenished my nutrients. Then, did you make a mistake at work? Uh, come back to the delivery department. Doing deliveries is no good. Forget about working as a doll. Isn't it just better to find another job anyway? <sighs> I'll help you work on it. 
Hodgin said he's not getting any salary this month. Maybe our company isn't doing too well. job in the first place. I just want to know what I love you means. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I understand that those words express a particular emotion. So why did the Major suddenly say those words to me? I want to know why. If I'm not suited for this job, I want to continue doing it. Till I find the answer. There are towels in the locker room. In any case, I think working as a doll is too hard for Violet. Oh. This company is so new, but we get so many requests for Catalea. But if we get a bad reputation because of this, and just when things are about to take off, it's better to have Violet leave now. No, give her a little more time. Um, Erica. Uh, oh, Violet? What happened to you two? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't think we should be making her leave the job. Huh? You see, Violet is very accurate and fast when she types. She can do tasks like making membership lists and writing addresses. Before long, after she learns a little bit more, I honestly believe she's going to be very good at writing letters. Please, don't make her quit her job. It's a contradiction, huh? You said I'm not suited for this duty. It's a contradiction. <gasps> Actually, I'm the one who isn't suited to be an auto memory stall. That's why I got so serious about defending her. The machine that was a prototype for the typewriter was originally invented by Professor Orlando, the authority on letterpress printing. His wife, Molly, was a novelist, but she became blind, so he created the typewriter for her. The professor called it the Auto Memory Stall. That term now refers to the industry of writing for others who can't write anymore. Meeting her made me remember my dream, which I had almost forgotten. My feelings, which were buried away. Just like how my heart was moved by the novels written by Orlando's wife. I'm going to close. Are you okay? Uh, yes. Someday. I want to write beautiful letters. That can move people's hearts too. I'm done. How is this? Hmm. All right then, Violet. Let's see. Yes. Hmm. It looks good on you. My opinion was right after all. Oh, and don't forget this. Sorry for being late. You can open it. All right, then. This is... This is the brooch that the Major gave me! It was on the black market. Someone must have stolen it from your belongings. <laughs> so then, Violet, do you want to attend one of the doll training courses? They have short-term courses, too. Iris attended one a while ago. Yeah, but the teacher was really strict. I think it'll be good for you. You 
bought that bag. That's why you didn't have any salary this month. Thank you for the drink. Hey, uh, who is the major that she's always talking about? Oh. Gilbert. When I was at the military academy, he was a friend. He's from the Bougainvillea family. Oh, so he's one of them. Even though he's from a rich